Hello guys, I'm Walter. After many close observation series we have uploaded on YouTube, I assume you guys might be getting tired of such video. So I'm going to today present you a proper view. This Targa 2022 4x4. IsuKD.com, where I for expert for all series of Isuzu chilling truck. We provide best Isuzu truck with professional delivery plan. China manufacturer means best quality and best price, we all know. Now I've said it before and I'll say it again. The third generation of Taiga looks absolutely tough in any terrain. This is its dark huge grille and uh, this is its LED headlight with fog, with fog lamp. We all know LED light can provide safety in a dark night and our uh, fog lights have very powerful penetrating power. As we move along here, you can see the super long side step for your driver's easy access and the 300, 300 mm clearance which can more than enough to help you to tackle the urban jungle and it has a bunch of other inclusions such as a full protection for chassis uh, which, can provide, which can provide you and help you to protect you from the rocks, debris and the dust while you are out there bombing the trail. The bed of the Taiga comes in at 1,400 mm in length, over 1,500 mm in width, and 415 mm in height, which equals to about 8,000 liters of space, and that's a pretty good number. The maximum payload capacity of the Taiga is 1,000 km or 1,065 to be precise. Another thing about this truck I very like is this. Bad liner. This bad liner can help you uh, to fasten your goods from slide over there and there. And uh, this uh, metal slides can help you to spoil the uh, gate and uh, help you to close the gate. Look at uh, these three bottles. And we have other threes over there, which is more than enough to help you to fasten the goods. We are inside of this truck now. What's really amazed me back here is this leather. It's really nice. Wrap me up in it because it's absolutely good. Uh, I'm sorry if I can't show you the whole view because this one is already ordered. Look at here. This, we got uh, two speakers and a storage on uh, either side of the door. And, uh, and uh, got another air conditioner outlet here and another storage here. The smaller thing back here is this one. A USB charger. Compared to the previous version of Tega, this one means we are living in the now. Look at this interior. It's absolutely good, absolutely gorgeous. The difference between this guy and the previous generation is night and day. This one, multi-functional steering wheel and uh, no doubt, really big screen. Every function that you can think of for, uh, in a smartphone, you can find it here. I guess I don't have to mention about the GPS, FM, AM, right? It's not bland and drab black plastics like before. It's lighter, supple, and loads of interesting co-height wrapping nearly every surface that you will touch. From the dash, to the door cards, to the seats, and the arm seats, and also the steering wheel. It's all stitched really well. There are actually threads that you can come in the traffic if you want. So this will be over of today's introduction. If you got any questions, please feel free to contact me. Thank you.